Hello, and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Fine program for you in yeah. this installment. How does it work in podcasting? Episode. It's an episode. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what you're doing? I don't. I really don't know what these are. You know, for years, I'd say, welcome to the show tonight. Right. Even that wouldn't apply anymore because now it's the streaming era. Mm -hmm. So God knows when people are seeing things. Yeah. Right. But so much of my life for so long was, this is the show tonight, folks. Uh-huh. And now we live in this other world where someone may download this. Good. Mm. So far, so good. 35 years from now. Mm. True. Mm. And it should feel as relevant to them then as it does to us now. To a certain extent. You no, that's why I like to try and keep these things evergreen. I don't mention Ugh. who's president. I never refer to anything that's happened in the news. I like to Iran say generic Contra. things like, well, uh, it sure is good that the human race still exists. You know what you are? What? You're the Top Gun Maverick of podcasting. Because they don't mention the war. And even the enemy fighters are called fifth generation fighters. And it's yes. the most benign, oh, non-offensive enemy. This is my favorite thing. I went to see the... And I really enjoyed it. I really loved the movie. It was really fun. But when it was over and the lights came up, I turned to my son and I said, now, why were we at war with Vermont? <laughs> 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 because it just really intrigued me that you don't know what the country is. They don't really say, but it looks a lot yeah. like Vermont. Yeah, snow-peaked hills. It's snow-peaked hills and evergreen trees. And uh. then my son was like, well, they had a secret production facility that was making maple syrup. And that's what we had to destroy. <laughs> so we were just riffing off that. But it was so funny to me, like, Vermont went and did it. Yeah. They threw down on us. We got to go after them. Bernie went rogue. The bad guys in that movie, again, it was so good at like, okay, they seem nefarious, I don't know why that country had such better fighters than we do. Mm. Right. It doesn't make sense. And I thought, no, we spend a lot of money on our military. I'd like to speak to someone in our war department. Why do we have far inferior fighter planes to Vermont? It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> well, I went to see that movie. And when they, the end, not, it's not really a spoiler, but the, there is a point where they end up in a classic F-14 fighter jet. Mm -hmm. I look down at my seat. F-14. What? Yeah. Oh. In the theater. Oh, I thought you were referring to your cock as a fighter jet. <laughs> Wait, I... I thought That's what I thought you were doing. Like, no. I looked down at my pants, what? F-14. You dirty devil. I'm confused. What do you mean? I was in the theater. I was in row F, oh, C-14. Oh, oh, come on. Wow. That's oh, a, God. You guys. That's an incredible story. No, first of all, you're I'm a top gun. No, you guys are talking about keeping this podcast evergreen. And you're talking about a movie that just came out. <laughs> hey, when I watched the first Star Wars, when it was over, I looked down at my seat. It was seat C-3PO. Come on. See, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I'm to get with yes. this. Uh, okay. What movie did you see? And you looked down in your seat. Uh, don't don't do that. Well, please <laughs> don't make me think. I don't know what's the number. What's the number? Movie forty two one eight seven. What? <laughs> no, first you got to think of. A I movie. went to a blank. <laughs> I went to a blank one eighty seven. Oh, oh, you you gave me hell about that you one time. Gave? You bird in wait, hell. Were you, you wait, he what did I give you hell about? Yes, right now. Yeah, I, I got it wrong once and yeah. you gave me hell about it. I was it. doing a funny riff oh, on how he, you got it wrong. He no. got it wrong yeah. the first he, time. No, I did. Wait, he did? I think he did. I think I got it wrong. I think originally. that's the second, that's multiple times no, that he's no, gotten it wrong. Gorley got it wrong the first time, and this was my clever callback to him getting it no, wrong. No. Okay. No. So I win once again. No. I'm sorry. What's this? Oh, I'm getting an award. <laughs> wow. Conan wins again award. It's a tissue box. I've won 750 million of these in my uh, lifetime. A tissue box? Well, it looks like a tissue box to you, but those of us in the know know that that's not a puffs plus lotion <laughs> tissue box. That is uh, let's an award for once again winning. Anyway, go check out uh, the new Top Gun movie. It's great. Evergreen. And yeah. Evergreen. And we really, yeah, exactly. This is as evergreen as it gets. Because you know what? Tom Cruise will put out another one in 35 years. Yeah, in 35 years. So this years, will still be relevant. Check it out. Don't get monkeypox. Yes. Who won the cup? I don't know. I'll salute President oh, Joe Rogan. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, please. He's built for politics. All right, let's uh, go. Big I'm still show. trying to think of a movie with a number. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on that. I got really nervous and I just blew it. I'm okay. sorry. What about... Um, Guess what? Hmm. I remembered I once saw a really good movie about Sparta and I looked down at my seat afterwards. I was in sitting in row 300. Nice. 
Okay. Yeah, that's, that's really goes, good. Right? I, uh, bad. I went to see a classic screening of Deliverance, and I looked down and I saw that I was seating in row, row, row your boat. <laughs> You oh, could, God, that's it. I'm going to introduce the that. guest. Uh-huh. I, I was thinking of numbers. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I can't don't, do the things that you guys do. You're, my brain's not you. Like can't you can't do what Gorley just did? <laughs> that's just good. Try that that means you have no tumor. <laughs> <laughs> that means, oh, I was that means you're going of, to live. I was at he's got something, of, uh, he's got something pressing on. No, you're, if this better, this I, better I be good. I was at a screening of Kindergarten Cop, and I looked down, and I saw that I was seated in row. It's not a tumor. That's no, not even a quotes, doesn't, though. Uh-huh. You're just ruining the thing. The yeah, premise. that doesn't line up at all. I'm oh, trying to think of you're a out of order. And you're no. She had a great ass. <laughs> Jesus, she's out of control. I was at a few good men and I was sitting in, you can't handle the truth. There you go. (laughs) There you go. Row two can't handle the tooth. No, man. What? I don't know. I don't want to. No, come on. I can't do this. Unbelievable.